Hello, my name is Emma Dean and I'm part of the Methodist College Belfast news team. 2013 marks 400 years since Belfast was chartered a city. During those four centuries, Belfast endured times of pain and hardship, but is proud of the determination shown by the people who have managed to come through these events even stronger than before. In this way, it's much more than the city, instead forms a key part of our identity, regardless of religion, politics or class. Why then, despite these admirable accomplishments, does Belfast only ever reach headlines when reporting on conflict or division? As students of Methodist College Belfast, we are keen to investigate just what our city has to offer. Isn't it about time we find out what's good about Belfast? What better time to do it than her 400th birthday as a city? Belfast! Beauty! From the River Lagan, flowing through the Loch, to the Irish Sea, to the Victorian Botanic Gardens located in the heart of the city, to the height of the Cave Hill Mountains surrounding Belfast, the city's beauty is truly overwhelming. Lady Dixon Park was originally family estate to Lord and Lady Dixon. It was farming land and stationed troops in World War II. It is now a family park with woodlands and a popular walking route. It is also home to Belfast Rose Garden, which attracts thousands of visitors in the Rose Week celebrations in July every year. At Cave Hill, you're on top of Belfast. Belfast Castle is located here, and so is one of our most famous landmarks, Napoleon's Nose, believed to be the inspiration for Jonathan Swift's novel, Gulliver's Travels. Education! Examination results in Northern Ireland are significantly higher than any other province in the UK. In further education, our universities, such as Queen's, offer high quality education at a fraction of the price of UK universities. Legacy! Here we stand at the shipyard of the Titanic, a foundation which Belfast strived on during the Industrial Revolution. Belfast was the main leader in shipbuilding as well as producing coal, cloth and linen. The legacy has continued for over 100 years, with last year commemorating a century since Titanic's maiden voyage. This celebration saw almost half a million visitors from all over the world flock into our capital city. Food! Belfast is home to a huge range of cuisine, from ethnic flavours from all over the world to your traditional Irish grub. The restaurant, made in Belfast, has got a lot of support recently for sourcing all of its fresh food locally supporting farmers and boosting Northern Irish economy. After recent events involving protests, restaurants all over the city have been frantically trying to regain business with the help of the new Buffalo City Council campaign, Back in Belfast. St George's Market is another source of local produce, located in the heart of Belfast. It sells everything from real Irish linen, fresh fruit and veg and fresh fish. So it's no wonder it's won numerous awards, including the Best Fruit Market category in the BBC Food and Farming Awards in 2010. Architecture. When it comes to architecture, Belfast has it all. With an array of both classic and contemporary designs from world famous architects, Belfast's skyline is steeped with history and culture. The architecture of Belfast is especially important to students at Methody as our own buildings were designed by Sir Charles Lanyon who is also responsible for the concept and design of Queen's University and Belfast Castle. Sport! In 2013 Belfast will be hosting the largest sporting event Northern Ireland has ever seen, the World Police and Fire Games. Taking place every second year the games are often referred to as the Olympics for serving and retired police, fire, prison and security border officers. Over 25,000 visitors are estimated to attend, including 10,000 athletes from over 70 countries. The opening ceremony will take place on the 1st of August in King's Hall. Theatre! The Belfast Theatre community has been around for nearly as long as the city itself. The beloved Grand Opera House has withstood the test of time, surviving both world wars and also the Troubles. It holds productions on all year round, from pantomimes and Shakespeare to ballets and concerts. The Opera House is a versatile stage, showcasing not only local talents, but artists from around the world. Belfast Dramatics aren't a thing of the past, with the recent revamp of the Lyric Theatre. They are currently celebrating Belfast's 400th year as a chartered city, by putting on four special plays written by Northern Ireland natives. Another new dramatic attraction in Belfast is the Metropolitan Arts Centre, or commonly known as the MAC. It's a venue for the arts, including theatre, dance and music and has featured exhibitions from world famous artists such as Andy Warhol and Oliver Jeffers. Belfast has a wide range of positive attributes but it's infamous for the troubles in its aftermath 
it's time for this to change. We've discovered that Belfast is a place for everyone, regardless of age. We would like to take the opportunity of Belfast's 400th birthday to rebrand the city. So happy birthday Belfast. This is Emma Dean from Methodist College Belfast, reporting for BBC Schools News Report.